and hello YouTube this is GS Man Smart and I'm here today with another brand new YouTube video and today we're gonna have another tutorial on Audacity the free sound recording and editing program and today we're gonna be doing a video that's kind of been requested a bit um, some people have been wanting to know how to do it other people probably know how to do it already but um, we're going to be teaching you how to take out the vocals, the lyrics, or the words from a song so that you only have the instrumentals left. Now, a quick disclaimer here. This may not work with every single song. I know the songs that I've tried it with, it's worked fairly well. So um, if, if it doesn't work for your song, then I apologize. Audacity can only do so much since it is a free program. And um, another thing is that when you do this it may not come out 100 percent perfect because it is a free program there are other programs out there that can do it a lot way better that can do it a lot better than audacity can but obviously those are those are programs you have to pay for so but audacity does a decent enough job that's good enough to use so basically here's what you have to do you first need to open up a song obviously an original song um, that, that you just want to convert to an instrumental. So you open Audacity, you click File, and you click Import, and then Audio, and it, your song should load here. Now we listen to the song. Never be So there we hear the uh, the actual song with the words and instrumental background. Now say you want to take out the words and just have the instrumentals. So what you're going to do is click this little box here so that everything gets highlighted. And you're going to click this little drop down arrow here. Now if you have an older version of Audacity, you're not going to have this option that says click spl split stereo to mono. You only have split stereo track. But if you have a newer version, you have the most recent version of Audacity, go ahead and click split stereo to mono. And um, if you don't have this option, click split stereo to track. And now the next step that I'm going to do, if you click split stereo to mono, you don't need to do this. But you want to click the first track down arrow change this to mono the second track down arrow change this to mono and basically that sets both of these to mono now if you had the option to split stereo to mono it automatically does that for you as you can see but anyway now you have your splits now you have your track split up into two channels two sti two mono channels now for this bottom channel you want to highlight the whole thing click the little box here then go up to effect then go to invert and this will basically invert this uh, second track the top track will not be inverted it will still be normal so now if you listen to it So as you can hear, basically what this has done is basically taken the vocals and pushed it to the back of the instrumentals. Now like I said, it's not 100% perfect. You can still hear the words a little bit. But if you're using this technique to record your own cover of a song, the idea is that your voice will basically be loud enough to cover, um, to cover th the little faint voice that you do hear. So that's basically it. You just upload, I mean, you basically just import a song and then you click down arrow, click split to mono or split stereo track, change these two to mono, then select the bottom, go to effect, go to invert, and then you can basically listen to it. And if you want to export this into a file now, you go click export and then you just name your file and save it somewhere. That's basically how you do it. Like I said, some songs 
on some songs it'll work better than others on other songs it won't work at all because the vocals are maybe too loud and the instrumentals are too too low and you can't really hear them that well so on some songs it may not work at all on other songs it works really well and um, that's basically how you do it like I said there are other options out there but you would most likely have to pay for them um, pay programs so this is the best alternative if you cannot find an instrumental version for your song this is probably one of the better alternatives it's better than nothing so hope you guys enjoy hope you guys learned how to do this it's fairly simple I have plenty of other tutorials on audacity Photoshop uh, several other programs on my channel so if you'd like to subscribe you may do so I do release videos fairly often if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below i do respond to all comments within 24 hours and go ahead and hit that like button to support the channel and i'll be making more videos as the time comes thank you for watching and this is gs man smart i'll be back sooner you think don't go anywhere